Hi there. This is Ian again, and today we're going to talk about telling a new story. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is very simple. You know, we like to tell stories about what happened to us, especially negative stories. We like to tell stories about the past and things that happened to us because we want to share, we want to get rid of this. Because psychologists and psychiatrists have, tell us, have told us, listen, you have to go back to the past and get that story, that negative story, and tell that negative story. Something that happened, something that people did to you. Whatever people did to you, you know, you tell that story. You mention that. You mention the wrongs that happened to you in the past. Now, I've just made this discovery that when you do that, you do not learn anything from that, you don't get any better, and things never really work out for you. And the reason is because, in reality, there's no such thing as present, past, and future. We are here living in the now. And so whatever you mention in the past, you bring back to your attention, and that means you draw the vibrations of that. It means it comes back to you right now. So, if, if you have, let's, let's talk about finances. Let's say, you know, you had a financial difficulties in the past. Maybe you still do every now, today. You had financial difficulties in the past and you mentioned this to every, say, you know, my firm that I had, you know, when broke or, you know, I had many debts or, uh, you know, someone robbed me or, you know, I lost such a lot of money. And then you get that feeling. You see, the feeling comes back to you again. The feeling of this loss. And then you are back in that emotional state. And because you are in the emotional state of that feeling, you draw the same reality to yourself. And so my suggestion today is simply, you got to change your story. You know, you know, because life always happens. Negative things happen, positive things happen. So my suggestion to you is bring the positive things out. Everything that happened to you positively. Talk about your first love. Always talk about your first love when you met your first significant other. You know, the feelings that you had, what happened there, what happened that day, how did you feel, what was it, what was the feelings like? Talk about that, bring it back into your memory, just bring it, just remember that again, it's a good feeling, so that you can develop a very good feeling about yourself. Now, uh, there were successes that you enjoyed in the past as well, you know, you had many successes. Talk about these successes, talk about the good things that happened to you. There's always something that good that happened to you in the past, it means retell your story, so that when you're talking about things now, you are talking about a positive thing that happened, something that positively happened to you, you see? Because in your quest for getting rich, you've got to get this mindset of success in your head, in your mind, in your soul, in your body, the feeling of success, and so therefore you have to talk about it. If you're not feeling healthy today, talk about the times when you were always feeling healthy, you were feeling good, you were feeling young, you were feeling vibrant. Talk about this. You know, let this be your new story. Remember, just tell the story again. When you're talking to others, tell them what them Because I know people, they like to hear negative things, what happened in the past. But you have to then tell a new story about yourself. You know, because whatever you're going to do, you see, and what we're going to do now, we're starting a new life. And this life is, we want to live abundantly. You see, you want to live abundantly, I want to live abundantly. So we talk about abundant things, so that it is within our vibrational influence. You see, so we can attract it, we can draw it by talking about the good things. Don't you want to enjoy life? You know, life is there for enjoyment. You want to enjoy your life. You know, life is exciting, life is great. And so you talk about the great things that happened to you in the past. You talk about the great things that happened to you in the future. You talk about the great things that happened to you now, all the time. You know, if you want to get rich, talk about rich. If you want to get rich, talk about wealth. If you want to get rich, talk about prosperity. If you want to get rich, talk about money in a loving way, you see. Talk about the good, the good and positive things and you will never, ever be sorry again. And so this pep talk that I'm giving you is retell your story. Tell the story positively. Whatever happened to you. I, I know. You want to say, yeah, I'm, I want to be honest, honest. I want to tell all the negative things that happened to me. No, you don't have to. Because the more negative things you retell or uh, you account for, you know, the more th neg negative things happen to you in your life. It stays with you. So if you want to get rid of it, retell your story. That's all. This is the message for today is you have to retell your story. Tell, talk talk positively about your life in the past and about people that you met. Now, sometimes you've met, uh, you know, you've had a relationship and the relationship went sour. So many people, they tend to talk negatively about this relationship. But I'm telling you, talk positively because you met this person, you were in love with this person, things went sour, but talk positively about it. Talk how wonderful it was being with this person. Whenever you do that, you will notice that your, your, your mindset is becoming a positive, you see. So 
in relationships, in health, in money, talk only positive things. Leave out the negative things because they happen. You don't want that. You don't choose that. You choose to have a positive life. You choose to have a happy life. You choose to have good, loving relationships. And that is what we will do. And then, so, therefore, concentrate on it and retell your story positively. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you very much, friends. See you tomorrow again. Bye.